typically whenever we're in the classroom together, what I would do at this point is I take everyone out into the parking lot to an, an empty area of the parking lot. And I take one volunteer who sits in the driver's seat. Once this volunteer sits in the driver's seat, they're going to sit there normally just like they were driving the car. Then I take one of their friends and I stand them against the driver's side door of the car. And then they're just going to start stepping back little by little by little until that driver can see their feet touching the pavement. Once they can see their feet, the driver signals, OK, stop. And then we put down a cone. So we do that from here. Then we'll also do it from the front of the car, where someone will stand with their knees at the hood and just start walking backwards real slow. And then once the driver can see their feet, they'll signal, OK, I see your feet. We'll drop a cone. We'll do the same thing from the passenger side door, where they'll back up. And then lastly, to make my point, I'll have someone stand with their knees against the trunk. And as that driver is sitting there looking in their rear view mirror at what's going on behind them, that person just begins to walk backwards and backwards. And it goes on and on and on. And pretty soon the group starts laughing and they make comments. I'm like, are you serious? You can't see him yet? And until that person walks back far enough that the driver can see that person's feet on the pavement, in their rear view mirror, this tends to be 75 to 80 feet. This is to demonstrate how big your blind spot is around your vehicle. And that's what this oval represents. The oval represents what you cannot see when you're sitting in the driver's seat of your car. So this is a dangerous area when you're backing up. There could be a pet back here. Could be broken glass back here. Heaven forbid there could be a kid back here. So backing up is incredibly dangerous just based upon how much you cannot see behind your car.